What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know him in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys my first Black Ops 3 gameplay. Joined in late, I was triple cap. Yeah, that was that was fun. I'll bring you guys the first minute of the gameplay and then the last like portion of it, just because you know I don't want to talk forever, but also because those couple minutes were kind of boring. But I thought you guys would want to see how I do right off the rip, and then most of my first game. So enjoy that. I fail miserably with the Tempest twice, so you'll get a laugh out of that as well. So anyway, getting right into it, let's start with the good things that I noticed. So first thing is that it feels like Call of Duty. Um, you know, a lot of people were asking, well, does it feel like Call of Duty? And what that means is they were asking is, does it feel like Advanced Warfare or does it feel like any other Call of Duty game? And it feels a lot more like the other Call of Duty games, even though there is, you know, some enhanced movement features, it still plays a lot like traditional Call of Duty, so don't worry about that. Um, the guns... Guns are decently balanced at this stage, you know, there needs to be some work on them still, obviously, but, you know, a pretty good job considering it's, you know, a beta. Iron sights on pretty much every weapon is actually decent. Um, I don't know if that'll change in my opinion later on, but I actually don't mind running iron sights on any weapon I've tried, even LMGs and stuff, so, you know, it's, it is what it is right now. Um, another thing is that the sound is nice. Sound and artwork, I'll just briefly mention this is they're both really good you know a lot the sound is good in pretty much every call of duty game but artwork tends to vary between uh the different developers and treyarch tends to make it the most colorful which to me is the most appealing so you know it works and then movement is really nice in this game i know some people are concerned about wall running and the jumping and things and i promise you guys it's not bad it works pretty well Maybe a little bit of tweaking on some of the wall running stuff, but overall, pretty good job. So, getting into the cons, because I want to focus on what's wrong with the game so that we can get these things fixed. So, first thing is that the specialist system is a little bit iffy because every single person is using either Sparrow or Vision Pulse, alright? Because, you know, you can only unlock certain ones off the start. But everybody wants to use those because those are by far the best to, you know, items to use. And they're the easiest to use as well. A lot of the others just get kind of neglected. And I've tested most of the others that I've been able to unlock so far. And I've noticed a couple of problems with a few of them just not quite working properly or not being as strong as they should be. So there needs to be some rework done on some of that probably. Another thing is that the spawns are terrible. You guys remember MW3 Demolition Spawn Traps? Well, basically now, like right now, in any game mode, you can basically get a spawn trap going like 10 times easier than in MW3. So, it's, it's pretty bad. Um, it needs a lot of work. Hopefully that will get fixed pretty quickly. Another thing is stuns are OP. You guys already know this. Everybody's been saying it. And then nades are a little bit stronger, which may or may not be a good thing. We'll have to see a little bit later. It's not, like, ridiculous, but it's a lot stronger than it has been. Um, next thing is, in my opinion, the maps don't play very well. Um, Evac plays all right, but I hate Combine with a passion. Hate everything about that map. And then Hunted is weird um i don't know maybe just because of some of the water mechanics and stuff like that but i i hate playing hardpoint on that map for sure it's terrible um snd is all right though but yeah I, I don't have a lot of fun playing the maps that they gave us right now um next thing is that the hellstorm is way too slow we need to speed that up for sure it takes like 10 years to boost that thing down so that needs to be fixed it needs to go a little bit faster for sure. Um, next thing is, and this is good slash bad, is the no toughness or flinch perk, you know, whatever it may be called in this game if they add it. Um, I like not having it because it makes it a little bit harder to, you know, actually win gunfights, but, you know, it could encourage more aiming down sights and slower movement so that you don't, so you can get the first shot off and not flinch. So maybe we do need to add that. I don't know. That's something for everybody to kind of discuss and test so that needs to be you know looked at a little bit uh, and then sniping sniping is really actually nice i like the fact that there's no aim assist now for snipers however it's not a good thing because of the simple fact that it makes snipers utterly useless in 
you know, competitive or even in public matches because it's ten times harder to use than any other weapon in the game. So either you need to give aim assist back to snipers or make it a lot harder for everybody else to use their weapons. So just take away aim assist for everybody and then it would probably be balanced, which I would actually like, but I know they won't do that. So that's the last main thing to look at. Other things that were just really annoying was the fact that the download took ages. It literally took like six hours. Um, it constantly froze the installation. Um, I had some friends have to restart it, had some friends that didn't get tokens, had some friends that tokens didn't work, and all those fun things, that was not fun. Um, you constantly get kicked out of games, you constantly have to restart the game, it's really laggy, it's pretty glitchy, I mean, it's just... It, it needs, like, I would have thought that some of that stuff wouldn't even be a problem in the beta. You know, I thought they could get some of that down. Maybe there were just too many people on the server, but, yeah. I mean, overall, guys, first impressions are, I'm not really all that impressed with the game. I mean, it's alright, but I got bored pretty fast. It could just be that there's only three maps, but I'm finding it a little bit difficult to make myself actually play this game right now, to be completely honest, so... You know, that's a little bit worrisome, but, you know, we'll have to see how it goes down the road. So, as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.